for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm-hmm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. <clears throat> you got him? I got him. We're here. We don't need nothing else from you. Now stay here. Don't you damn move. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. What's the call? Wait on my mark. I want to take a look at these boys. Sure thing. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. 
So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. And you're right you are. You got something tucked away? Let's go, boy. Yep.
Harrison? You okay? How are you? Sure. Why are you walking around so sad? I'm not sad, just bored. You really need your boys bored. to get out there and hunt. Bored Flies good. are low. Bored means you ain't scared. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I'm grateful for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. When I was a little girl, I guess I hoped for... Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. All right. Follow me. Let's go if we're going. I'm B. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for it. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. 
Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike Anu, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, huh? I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Here we are. Hey there. Evening, partner. Good evening. Evening. I tell you, life ain't easy. Well, there's good days and bad. Just one or two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm paid. Hey, buddy, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna rip your head clean off your shoulders. Is that clear? Get out of here! Clear? Clear? Very clear. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's great, Martin. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Damn. Found my friend. You know where we went? Sorry, I don't know. You know which way my friend went? Never 
Lenny? Lenny! Get away, watch me! Now! Push me! Yeah, 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 yeah. Go! Come on! Get, 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 get. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Found you, Lenny. <laughs> I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Lenny, where are you hiding now? There you are, Lenny. Lenny, what are you talking about?
not again. Where are you? Swanson! What's the hope? Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. What are you doing? Get your hands off him! Get your hands off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Pair of damn fools. Oh my god, you killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. You better stop right there. Stay away stop. from me, bitch. Stop. Make me kill you.
You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Margaret! So sleepy. about now. Don't mind if I do. Idiot.
I was wondering when he'd show up. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Hello, Arthur. I've got an idea, Pearson. Make something edible. Oh, just what I need. All right, Mayor Beth. I'm bored out of my mind. Been cooped up for days. Well, bored is better than freezing. Ah, uh, what a delightful surprise. Hello, Karen. Hello, Hello Arthur. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. How is your meal? Abigail, not ever. Just leave me alone, will you? You know, while we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Terrible. Very amusing. I suggested we roasted you alive, but Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. How are you, Jack? Said he couldn't bear to see you your face sit? for even one moment. Oh, what are Okay, good. Hello. Bill. Hey, Arthur. Jose. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I'm missing. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Just get this adjusted, boy. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. A nasty little oh. guy. Don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Move it! Easy, big uh -huh. feller. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yep. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened? Idiot. To that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Hey! Mac went ah. Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha. Or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Doctor, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. are just up ahead. Save me! All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. You'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable them here for you. Here, take a look. Partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that bit is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. 
But it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but... If he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. Go! What are you getting off for? Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get it set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. I, I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur. Okay, let's go. Let's go, girl. We'll try our luck. Stop that. You'll scare them off. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw them last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? 
I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Quick. Let's get down there. But, well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hot. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new. Maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? <laughs> 